Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, NexusSHacks.com So today I'm going to install my second uh, ROM uh, EVO, uh, the N NS4G DEC ROM was kind of weird for some reason I think it's maybe the 2.3.5 was acting up on me uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, uh, go copy over the three files You need an AOSP plus premium 2.0.zip uh, and the gapps-ns4g-2011-0601.zip and also you need the netarchy-nexus-1.4 it's the ROM file, uh, Google Apps and kernel file and this um, ROM you need to install an aftermarket uh, kernel in order for the Wi-Fi module to work but anyway I'll have the links below go download it, copy it over to your um, your Nexus S you can also do this by going to mountain storage in clockwork mod recovery and mounting USB storage for those of you who don't know I do that all the time and then go to install zip from SD card oh sorry um, do a white data factory reset first I already did it so I'm not going to show you that and then do uh, install zip from SD card uh, zip from SD card and then Let's install the AOSB Plus Premium ROM. And this will take a minute or two. And uh, let me see here. This, this ROM comes with uh, AOSP. AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project, uh, which is basically it's built from ground up from the Android uh, source. Oh, it's done already. And then go down to choose it from SD card and let's install G apps, the Google apps. I'm just going to do it for this video because I know a lot of you haven't installed any ROMs on your Nexus S4G. Um, this is only for Nexus S4G. Don't install it on your regular Nexus S and break your device and complain to me. Um, go back to the thing here, zip, and then go to the NetArchy. And we're going to flash that one too. That's the kernel. And. Uh, this is uh, the ACS AOSP from the uh, Android Creative Syndicate. They have a really good ROM on the uh, EVO 3D. And then an uh, Epic 4G. Sorry, I have too many phones. And now we're going to reboot system now. And then we'll have a new uh, ACS ROM. I really like the ROMs on the uh, Epic 4G. Mm -hmm. They had the uh, extension for, I think, file system, which makes your phone like super fast, all the files transfers. Um, but I, I'm not sure if they did that on this one. Uh, I'll be doing some testings with uh, with um, the benchmark stuff like Quadrant and stuff. And I'm hoping they did that on this one. If they did, it's going to be super fast. Um, but I know th these guys make really good ROMs, so highly recommend it. I, I know I said on the last video and um, completely failed but you know maybe I was doing something wrong uh, but I'll be back when this boots up I'm gonna go sign in. Oh it booted up and uh, I'm gonna go install some test apps and we'll show you and I'm gonna go test out the 4G make sure everything's working um, so see y'all later. Hi folks uh, I've got uh, Quadrant installed and you can go download set CPU at, and install it copy it over to your SD card download app uh, file manager app or Android zip or ES file manager and install a uh, set CPU app and pull it all the way to 1.4 gigahertz and you don't have to set it on performance I just did it just to show you how fast it can go you can put it on on demand which will uh, ramp up as it's needed and um, let me show you some tests pretty good actually um, I, I was getting like almost over 3,000 um, so this is a really good ROM I think I'll have to test out more but um, I think it's a really good ROM it's actually an alpha version uh, another warning is I guess sometimes it can reboot but so far it hasn't rebooted um, but I haven't used it for long so hopefully it won't re reboot uh, but I'll have it set it at uh, 1.4 gigahertz at uh, performance for a whole day and see if it reboots. 
but um, it's a really good ROM, I think so. It's uh, very watered down. If you want something super fast, um, no bloatware, this is definitely a great ROM to get. Uh, everything's working, 4G. So I've got 3336, that is very respectable. Um, Limpack, let's do single thread. Let's see what kind of numbers we get. 24. 24. 24. So about 24. That's not super fast, but those aren't all the numbers. Uh, quadrant is more, more I think, uh, exact as far as um, getting performance out of your Nexus S. But that's really fast comparing to other devices I have. Um, near 3500, and I'm sure if I run it a couple more times, it'll go near 4000. Uh, anyway, that was uh, the AOSP. There's the AOSP Plus Premium ROM, ACS AOSP. Um, this is a really great ROM. Um, there's nothing on it. <laughs> That's why it's so great. And it's based on Android 2.3.5. And uh, Android 2.3.5 you can only flash it on 4G, Nexus S 4G, Sprint Nexus S 4G, so don't flash it on anything else. Um, and also it comes with these uh, uh, DB bars, like it will show you like how strong your signal is. Um, what else does it come with? It comes with... Um, let me see, maybe I can show you something more. Settings, lock screen parts, oops, uh oh. I pressed the wrong button. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know what I pressed. But there we go. Oh, no, it's still working. Okay. thought that was a, the reboot. Um, <laughs> um, I won't spoil <laughs> everything you can do with it. Maybe you can go download uh, the ROM and try it out yourself. And let me know what you think. And I'll have more ROM reviews on the Nexus S4G this week because I'm so excited to have my new phone. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. You guys rock. Oh, yeah.